the turn of you know um, the uh, military to democratic rule and that was yeah so that's actually the connection it's way bigger you know than i'm explaining now so you know 1999 is a very interesting year um for me i like to think about that year a lot it was the year i finished secondary school it was the year i was going to um tertiary institution we were getting close to the millennium bug yeah. then it was an interesting year you know some people said the world was coming to an end you know for a teenager you know, then it was all kinds of information, but it was also a period, you know, I can never forget that particular year. It was, I like to call it the year I discovered myself and who I truly was. It was when I realized that I'm not as religious as I thought I was, you know, that I really loved science and I wanted to pursue um, science. And it was also when I realized I really loved the arts and I wanted to pursue both. And whether I could do both, you know, I didn't know. But there was just a sense of, I wanted to be part of something big. So every time I think about incidences that, or I think about stories about incidences that change the world on a larger scale or create something really big, 1999 always comes to my head. DOD too is 1999. You know, it's about that year. <laughs> you know, so, but that's basically what, why the 1999 connection is. So this, and we were, we were, we were playing with part truth part you know fiction and the story is built around you know uh, a general who's trying to overtake and you know um, plot a coup just on the eve of the democracy and then someone discovers that truth and it becomes a big deal so that's like where the story i, I don't want to give away uh <laughs>